Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, July 31st, 2024. What did you think of the new intro? All right, so I, I just want to get into my bookmarks here real quick. Uh, uh, this was uh, Dr. Simon Goddard. He's at, living in Brazil now, and uh, boy, I tell you, it sounds like he's having a good life down there. I'd, I'd love to be on his farm, and uh, I tell you what, though, it's a tough life. It's a tough life. But anyway, I, he always puts out these crazy posts, and I, I, if you want to follow him, it's at G-O-D-D-E-K-E-T-A-L, G-O-D-D-E-K-E-T-A-L. Anyway, he says, um, I, this is just a direct, gentle reminder that there was never a deadly pandemic. <laughs> Men can't get pregnant. Man-made climate change is a myth. Of course, CO2 is one of the things he pointed out. Gender pluralism is nonsense. Meat is good for you. Teaching critical race theory is racist. Only mentally ill people use pronouns. <laughs> and this platform is still deboosting users who dare to make the above statements. So what he's talking about is the censorship. And so this just gets to the theme of this video. Uh, if you haven't been on Google, uh, do a search on that cybersecurity guy. That cybersecurity guy. And so now, do a search on Donald Trump <laughs> and see what comes up. I tell you, you know, I don't even know why people use Google, man. You got DuckDuckGo, you got StartPage. There are alternative search engines. Hell, you can even go to Bing.com. Uh, I don't even know. I, maybe Yahoo still has a search engine. I don't know. But I mean, why are people still using Google? They censor everything. Like I said, search on Donald Trump. Search on that cybersecurity guy. Let's watch the first video. Facebook has just admitted that it wrongly censored the Trump attempted assassination photo and got caught. Same thing for Google. They made it virtually impossible to find pictures or anything about this heinous act. Here we go again. Another attempt at rigging the election. Go after Meta and Google. Let them know we are all wise to them. We'll be much tougher this time. There has been long-standing speculation about the power of big tech to manipulate public opinion. Now, anger is rising as it appears that Google searches are being manipulated. For example, if one does a Google search for assassination attempt on... You'll notice that the recent events of July 13th, in which the life of the former president and front-running presidential candidate in the United States was nearly taken, doesn't come up. Now, Donald Trump Jr. spoke up about this, and it seems like big tech is slanting things in one way. Big tech is trying to interfere in the election again to help Kamala Harris. We all know this is intentional election interference from Google. Truly despicable. Now, this isn't simply on the United States. If you use a VPN to change the country, the results are similar. It's as if Google is trying to blot out the memory of what happened when Donald Trump nearly lost his life on July 13th. And even if you go further and type in assassination attempt on T-R-U-M, Instead of referencing the recent events, what comes up is historical talk of attempts to trake the life of former U.S. President Harry Truman. They're not just trying to remove memory of the recent assassination attempt. They're trying to wipe out Donald Trump entirely, it seems. When one types in the name Donald, what comes up is references to the cartoon character Donald Duck. And when one searches for the name of the front-running presidential candidate, and what comes up is only news items connecting him with his opponent in the presidential race, Kamala Harris. Now, Google, of course, has denied that they are engaging in partisan political activity and trying to favor one candidate and blot out what happened to Donald Trump. They say they're doing nothing of the kind. We're working on improvements to ensure our systems are more up to date. Of course, Autocomplete is just a tool to help people save time, and they can still search for anything they want to. Following this terrible act, people turned to Google to find high-quality information. We connected them with helpful results, and will continue to do so. 
And it's not just Google. Uh, Facebook, owned by the large social media tech giant Meta, has been removing the iconic image of former U.S. President Donald Trump after the assassination attempt with his bloody ear, his fist in the air. They have removed that image, saying it could be manipulated, it could be false or something, uh, not exactly stating why. This is Facebook's response to criticism about how they tried to remove what has become a very iconic and powerful moment in American history. Yes, this was an error. This fact check was initially applied to a doctored photo showing the Secret Service agents smiling, and in some cases our systems incorrectly applied that fact check to the real photo. This has been fixed and we apologize for the mistake. Anger is rising. These tech corporations seem to be playing a blatantly partisan role, suppressing information and trying to boost one candidate while hurting the image of another. Wow, Google has a search ban on President Donald Trump. Election interference? Why is Google suppressing the search about the Trump assassination attempt? Has there been a dramatic increase in Truman biographers in the last two weeks? Now, Google's response is that no personal or manual action was taken and that this is merely the result of the fact that search engine automation is done to prevent bringing up information about political violence. This is an age where many feel that the tech monopolies are slanting things against them. Conservatives strongly feel that social media is being rigged in order to suppress their views with Profiles being shadow banned, not turning up in searches, certain accounts being removed. Now, for a long time, anything associated with Russia has been a target of the tech monopolies, not just uh, news channels and uh, outlets putting out content about world events, but even travel blogs and cultural communications. Anything related to Russia has been suppressed. And this whole situation, in light of an upcoming U.S. presidential election, is forcing many to realize just how powerful these gigantic monopolistic corporations based in the United States really are, and to raise the alarm about what that power, when it comes to crafting global information, could really mean. All right, so that was the video on uh, Donald Trump. And uh, and so now we'll get into to, to some of the... Uh, some of the uh, craziest stories let's have a little fun <laughs> this is hilarious oh my god a venezuelan this is clandestine by the way i and i i when i read this i was like oh my god i gotta put this on my video he says because uh, it, and it's so damn true i mean it's kind of like you know trump Almost gets assassinated. Biden is overthrown in a coup. The the entire United States is uh, going into a financial bankruptcy. And then you get this. A Venezuelan dictator just challenged the richest man on earth to a cage match. And he accepted. <laughs> so Elon Musk, he said, bring it on, man. So, I don't, boy, I t would this be the greatest event in the history of mankind? I mean, if Elon Musk was in a cage match with uh, 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 the Venezuelan dictator. Elon Musk, quien se mete conmigo, se seca. Quien se mete con Venezuela, se seca. Elon Musk. ¿Quieres pelea? Vamos a darle, Elon Musk. Estoy listo. Soy hijo de Bolívar y de Chávez. No te tengo miedo, Elon Musk. Vamos a darlo, pues. Donde quiera. Como decimos en Caracas, en los barrios. Si tú quieres... I says, keep in mind, this is like the twelfth craziest thing to happen this week, and it's only Wednesday. <laughs> Just a standard day in 2024. That's why I call it watching the world burn, right? Holy shit! I I, I was like, oh my god. I uh, by the way, let's uh, get back to some serious stuff here. I, I but that that's the best. I, 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 man, if Elon Musk actually goes up and has a cage match with the Venezuelan dictator, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, God, I can't remember his name anyway. All right, so uh, Hezbollah says assassination of Hamas leader will be compensated by destroying Israel from the map of the earth. Uh, things are getting serious in the Middle East, man. I'm telling you, I mean, you better uh, be paying attention. Uh, and today, I don't even know what it means. They raised the red flag. 
over Iran. I have no idea what that means, but I saw a video on it, and, and so the, I guess the red flag has some sort of major significance. I mean, maybe the entire Islamic world is getting ready to freaking destroy Israel. And if you believe Colonel Douglas McGregor, uh, Israel's going to start hitting Lebanon with tactical nuclear weapons. I mean, we are looking at Armageddon, man. I mean, it's insane. And of course, you know, now we're... Uh, there was another thing that came out. Uh, Colonel Douglas McGregor said that... Uh, and I don't even know how this is possible, but evidently, supposedly, there were Ukrainians in Finland that launched a drone strike on a strategic bomber in the Arctic Sea uh, and blew it up. You know, Russia's, Russia's plane, a strategic bomber, a nuclear bomber. And, well, they said it was Ukrainians, but how can Ukrainians get into Finland to launch? You know, I, I tell you what, I always believe anything that Colonel Douglas McGregor says. I mean, he's got his sources, you know, and so I was like, holy shit, that's crazy, isn't it? Isn't that crazy? Oh, my God. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not sure I'm going to put, I can't put this footage on the video. I'm just not going to do it. Uh, but there's, uh, Russia uh, did a retaliatory strike against the T-U-R-R-E-G, Turug base, responsible for the attack on the convoy of the Wagner PMC and the Mali Armed Forces. So I, I, I was talking about that in my last video that they killed, I think it was 18 uh, Wagner um Russians, or maybe just Wagner and Mali, uh, and so they've done a huge retaliatory strike. And uh, man, I tell you, this is uh, this is uh, this is. I'll just describe it to you, man. These strikes were carried out by Turkish Baya Baya Qatar drones of the Burkina Faso Air Force. Burkina Faso and Mali are part of the same military alliance. And what I'm seeing is a I'm just going to describe it to you, man. I mean, it's it's a it's they they obliterated him. I mean, there's a lot of dead bodies in this this video right here. Uh, it's uh it's um it's it's quite brutal. Uh, so I won't I won't subject you to that because I know that YouTube they'll make this 18 plus. Uh, but I can definitely talk about it. And uh, so anyway, uh, that's it uh, for today's video. I got a couple of other um, uh, videos that I'm going to tack on to the end here. I'm trying to think, is there anything else that happened? I mean, hey, you know, your mind just goes crazy, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I, on a personal note, you know, I always try to put in a personal note on stuff. Uh, so today, you know, I, I, I was working on the garage. Uh, if you didn't know, I had the hatch back up on the back of my car, and I backed it into the garage, and I bent the rails. And so I was trying to do the handyman repair with my pliers and everything, and I was doing more damage than good. And so finally I said, you know what? I need, I need professional help here. <laughs> you know, and sometimes you got to spend a hundred dollars, right? And so, you know, I called them up. It's called the slide doctor. And they came in and uh, the guy came in. I mean, he was done and we were done in half an hour at, you know, once he, once he took a look at it and he had this, the right tool for the job and, and then he had the right paint for the job. Uh, and, and it looks great. And, and then of course he was talking about, I mean, talk about good luck, right? He said, well, these sliding doors aren't sliding too good. He says, if you cut that felt off, he says, it'll make them slide a lot better. I said, make it so man, make it so. So he went out and he cut the felt off. I'm telling you where I used to freaking push these sliding doors on my garage. I mean, it was a freaking chore. Now it's just, whoosh, <laughs> whoosh. And you know what the dude, I mean, he was going to charge me $175. And I said, man, I only have a hundred bucks in my pocket. He says, ah, oh, that'd be good enough. Don't worry about it. So, you know what? Sometimes you get what you pay for. And, and then, of course, I had to fix the sliding doors to get to the cart. The cart's not working. So I actually got a guy coming and looking in my cart. And so maybe my cart will start working again. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you that, so life is a progression. I had to fix the garage doors before I could fix the cart. I had to fix the light pole up front. So what I'm telling you is each day, just kind of try to deal with one little thing at a time. Uh, let's, hey, let's take a look at what silver is right now. Uh, let's take a, let's get the price. Boo! Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. 29.21. 
That's uh, I bought it at twenty seven seventy three. Man, it's already gone up two dollars. <laughs> Holy shit! I, I I okay. Well, there you go, man. Buy your commodities. Even hey, by the way, Elon Musk actually uh, liked one of my replies. I said buy Chinese one and buy gold, buy commodities. And I said commodities. You know, I didn't I didn't include just silver. I mean, you know, I'm a silver buff. And uh, I was, I was, you know, it's always fun when when you get a multi-billionaire that actually likes one of your replies. On X, peace out, stay free.